let me just make a test. Alright. Just making sure that worked. Oops. <laughs> Accidentally closed things. Literature Club. I think last time he had just joined the club and we were walking home with Monica. I think. Yeah. the club room and make our way home. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the board girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to clo grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure a good fortune will find me. I guess it starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh, do I have to actually write? Oh gosh. Very nice. Um. After images come from moving really quickly, those are cool. <laughs> Existence is pretty cool. <laughs> Nice. You know, amazing. It's kind of self explanatory. Wait, Doki Doki Literature Club. Nope. <coughs> ah. Now, yeah, headphones are a lot better than suicide. Yeah, I enjoy breathing. No, wait, is that like... Okay, now that I'm actually thinking of the word massacre, I thought it was like that stuff that girls wear that sounds like massacre. Oh, I like blankets. Donuts are sticky. Anime is pretty nice too. Oh, 
I don't think pickles are the thing with fireworks are cool. <laughs> Wait a minute, I just realized they jump whenever you answer. Yeah, vanilla is my favorite flavor. I wonder if that like corresponds to something. Friends are nice. Explosions are cool. In your name, glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. No, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was la the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for helping me. Thanks for keeping your promise, your name. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive head first in the literature when you're not accustomed to it. Hey, I was all tabbed again. <laughs> it's odd. Oh, come on. Uh, like, he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take this seriously, then you won't see the end of it. <coughs> Natsuki, you'll certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. And then... Uh, <laughs> wow, that's... fun. Natsuki finds herself stuck between seeing Monica and manga. Manga is literally... That's my voice. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Your name always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. I cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. <coughs> oh, jeez. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? Eh <laughs> eh. <laughs> you two you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and your name can become good friends too. Um, Sayori. Hmm. Silence. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh wow, well, Gary even brought you something today, you know. Well, wait, Sayori? Eh? Me? Um, not really. Oh, hi, Skoy. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> well, you, yes, try. <laughs> I, I don't. I honestly don't. My mom's probably upstairs like, what is this kid doing down there? But you know, it's all worth it. <laughs> Don't be shy. See? She knows what's up. <laughs> it's really nothing. <laughs> what is it? 
and, and never mind. <laughs> My man card. I don't. I don't think I ever had one of those. <laughs> Yori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Hey, I'm sorry, Yori. I wasn't thinking. I guess it means it's time to me, up to me, to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice chest heard from you is a pleasant surprise. It will make me happy no matter what. Is that so? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I won't make a big deal of if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Your dude uses into her peg and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's sure. So it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Alright, thanks, Clay. Have a nice night. Talk to you later. Thanks for stopping in. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book. She thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I say and then never read it. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Say Yordi and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yordi's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I suppose I guess I could always read some of the book he already gave me. But I'm feeling a bit too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and then to listening in on Sayardi's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Um, well, we can't give this up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks their to their creative minds. Mm. <laughs> a nearby airplane. That doesn't solve the problem though. Hey, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know. And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is taking this weirdly seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberately deliberating like this. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? <coughs> <coughs> oh my gosh, I just peeked my mic. Well, I guess we could. Cupcakes. Haha, uh -huh, good thing. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. 
That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative Tommy. Oh, I think mom's coming down now. I think she's she's concerned. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe not. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. <laughs> In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has filed trouble finding any motivation at all. Sayori can put mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. <laughs> I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Hehe, <laughs> sorry. That was a far jump. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. Oh. You'll need to get used to it. <laughs> Don't say that so loud. I glance over to s my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. Hey <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Hey, not every day. I'm That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How's it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Uh, I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need the brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's toothpaste stain on your collar right there. Right here. I tried to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but no one would ever notice that. Of course they would. No one thinks it's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Hey, you meanie. Oh, looks like she's upset. Hey, and you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? <laughs> that's super mean. Yeah, that's a, that's a little rude. Sorry, but j you'll thank me later. <coughs> Oops. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> oh, that's a really 
fun angle. This is so funny. What, what is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of the things. Eh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this, aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggled to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? Yeah, hey. It did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would uh, have noticed sooner than it didn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? <laughs> it means my boobs got bigger again. Good for you. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway. You look much better now, so... Uh, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer button up like that? But it's so stuffy. It's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuns her blazer once more. Phew. That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it on the button, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? Well, what kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because... If I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And if you take care of me better than anyone else would, anyway. Oh yeah, I messed that up. So that's why I'm keeping it on buttoned. Actually, the buttons go to there, so there's not even one near her chest. How does that work? Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a bit earlier. Only if, only if you focus on getting to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to play with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Hey. Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the forms you wrote now? Yay! Your name, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still tries to wait to receive her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since i have never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Datsuki and Yori are reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Oh, gosh, I have a choice now. Who should I show my poem to first? You know, I think I'm gonna show my poem to... Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poem yesterday. 
it's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. <coughs> well, this is what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. Yeah, it's not like I said it was bad. I just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <laughs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. E eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well... Because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yeah, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. The other nice thing about ri simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wood wordplay. Like I said, up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess it went more into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect the here didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. I need to grab something. <laughs> Who should I show my problem to next? Uh. Oh my goodness, this is so good, your name. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Say, Zayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Aha, <laughs> 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 Jeez. I'm sure Yori's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think you'll... I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a your name poem. <laughs> I don't regret naming myself your name. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. Eh <laughs> I'm really happy that you just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the, the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. 
care to win, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but... <sighs> that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. <laughs> See, he is like I said before, your name. <laughs> Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things like this for other people. That's something only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori already sees the full picture of my mode of fear. Then again... <sighs> I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. I need to get a drink. I want her tea. <coughs> Knowing how much this means to her and all. Whoops, I accidentally forgot to drink my tea for a second. Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? <coughs> that will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! <laughs> now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Eh <laughs> Well, we'll see about- we'll see about that. <sighs> New Year's sunshine, and the way you glow through my blinds in the morning <coughs> makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, and the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that poem. Zayori. <coughs> This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No, uh, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or, how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that uh, last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. Oh, okay. Oh, so right clicking just gets rid of the dialogue. Okay. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for thanks for showing me. Eh. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> the next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Oh, I messed that up. Who should I show my poem to next? I think I will show my poem to... Yuri. Er... Yeah, Yuri. Oh... Uh, Yuri. You already stared at the poem. I mean, it passes more than enough time to, for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Uh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. 
I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Alright, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through this. Oh, so it's that bad. Oh no. Uh, did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yerdy buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yerdy a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. <coughs> what were you saying? Right, uh, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through them myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. <coughs> I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and then they form, form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once she already finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just find, finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice. <laughs> I learn by, <coughs> learn by example and try new things. I also hope that everyone in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased though. Biased? How? Uh, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yori's apologizing to Zin to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. <coughs> Yerdy. Yerdy smiles grimly, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which is... which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghosts under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickens. I flicken back. Flicker back, yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah. Well, I just don't read scripts very often. I actually think your handwriting is very pretty. Eh. That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It was too short. I usually write longer poems. <laughs> Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something that's a little more mild. <coughs> <coughs> something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into go Siri? Hoo-hoo. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, your name. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did hold my clients over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually 
do more than just tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps, the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more... <coughs> That's a lot more solemn being putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe alright. I guess I'll just have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. <coughs> Let's see, yeah, who should I show my poem to next? Hmm, it's a hard choice, you know? I really think I should show it to Monica. But at the same time, I should show it to Monica. Or should I show it to Monica? Oof. What are these choices? I think I'll have to go with Monica. <laughs> Hi, your name? Wait, is there something new in you? Have you been a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, I'm glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Oh, alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway. <laughs> Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry your name. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. And <laughs> I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe uh, there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. <coughs> I think I diverted that away from the mic. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So that, that's why I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm, you sure you're not reading into it too much? Haha, <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Oh man, I need a drink. <coughs> man, I need to stop inhaling my drink too. Ah, oh, that hurts. Yeah, sorry, uh... <clears throat> I was choking on my tea. <sighs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too. Yeah, that, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. <coughs> I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find what kind of the style suits you. <coughs> well, you see... Shadow. I'm playing Doki Doki Literature Club, and I'm using voices that my friend told me to use. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kind of style. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way that everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm playing Doki Doki Literature Club, and I'm using voices my friend told me to do. I've never played this before as well, so... Aha! Aha! Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. What am I doing playing this? <laughs> um, well... I decided to play it, because um, some of my friends we're like, hey, <coughs> this game is pretty neat. So I was like, alright. And I also saw a lot of people on YouTube playing it, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you think the voices are funny, because <laughs> they kill my throat. <laughs> <coughs> you sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's reach it then. Hole in wall. <coughs> it couldn't have been me. See, the distance, the spackle, protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retina's already scorched with the permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever and everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. Huh. So, what do you think? Hmm, <laughs> uh, it's, it's very preform, if that's what you'd call it. Sorry, I'm not truly really the right person to ask for feedback. Aha, <coughs> uh -huh, it's okay. Yeah, kind of sad it's gone pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Well, not, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. <coughs> Man, my throat is not having it right now.
It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany. Yes, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. <coughs> Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <coughs> Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. <coughs> oh man. <coughs> I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yori and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this what's with this language? Eh hey, uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Hello. <coughs> Is this CL? Rose? Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Oh, well, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Ah, uh, I know that. I, I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? So, <laughs> oh wait, feedback, like, feedback through my mic. You mean, you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Oh, that's interesting. That's, that's odd. I don't have the stream open, so it shouldn't be. <coughs> that's odd. Um... What was it? Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Uh, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <coughs> Good job. Hmm. <laughs> 
if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And your name did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expre expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something uh, particularly inspiring. Wow, I could not speak there. <laughs> Yeah, I gave her that voice because she's the tallest. <laughs> Which I haven't yet. Mm. And your name liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Hey. That's not what I... Uh... <laughs> yes. You're just... You already stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that your name appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you not full of yourself? Ah, uh, no. If I was full of myself... I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, um, is everyone okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for like murdering your ears when I cough. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as your name started showing up. Natsuki? Uh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Wow, I don't know how to do this too. Oh, okay. <coughs> I don't like fighting you guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Your name? She's, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? Meaning to jump out at the reader, not force him to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, your name. Well, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only not necessarily eliminating yourself. It's also a waste. You understand that, right, your name? Um, well... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know about anything about writing. But whomever I agree with will probably think more highly of me. That's going to be <coughs> crap. Do I don't. God, I have to. I don't want to call for help. That's weak. I'm not going to be weak. Thank <laughs> you. 
You know, she's shy, so I'm just gonna give it to her. Natsuki. You're right that I licked your poem. See? Wait, that's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my phone seriously. Hmm. I understand. Yuri. Eh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or defined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when he said her poem was cute. Ah, uh, I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but Natsuki, you took it way too far. You already means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. <laughs> you already apologized, and don't you think you should too? And... <laughs> Natsuki clenches her fist. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. <coughs> See, early, she doesn't need to. You know what? <coughs> I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without a warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she grumbles up the poem in her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki. She, re she really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. <coughs> Oh, it looks like it's growing out of her head. You know? I haven't actually paid attention to that, so... Yoni has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Uh... <laughs> Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I act like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yardy. How could anyone not get it? How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You can handle it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well. Alright, I believe you. Thanks your name, you're too kind. I'm thankful to have you as part of this club now. Uh, uh, it's nothing. One more thing. Uh, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So... Eh? What thing did Natsuki say? Uh, um, well, never mind that. Ah, I'm just gonna go make some tea. Is she? Is she gonna, like, murder everyone so then she can have me? <coughs> you know, I'm already part of this club. You can't tell me what to do. I'm gonna stay in this club since I also don't have any choice. Ah, uh, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. 
I'm so tuned. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. You're yearning. How about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Mm. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. <laughs> you know, I agree. See all the creases everywhere. And she has hers unbuttoned because it's too small for her. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see there's nothing like holding the bow in. Oh shoot, maybe she's not human. <laughs> Your name, <laughs> ready to walk home? Uh oh, she's gonna murder me on my, her way home, she's an alien. Sure, let's go. Eh <laughs> It's just predicting the future. Sayardi beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayardi and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayardi, what's about what happened earlier? Eh, what do you mean? Well, you know, between Yardi and Atsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? Oh, no, no, no. No. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. You... You know your name. It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. Nuts. Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> Looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to that kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but doesn't really need to stop there. <coughs> we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. Just click down. I pet Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Alright.